Wesley Visors vs Robert Timms. Now this comparison was requested by none other than Cesar OT. And the versions that I'm using is the 2021 Texas Pro of Robert Timms, which he won, and the Mr. Big Evolution Pro 2021 of Wesley Visors, where he plays third. Now, I know that he did a um, contest after that. He won the 2021 Poland Pro, um, but I unfortunately couldn't find any pictures of him from that show, and I also feel like he placed third here and won that show more so due to the competition rather than him improving so there is that guys now obviously right off the bat we can see that uh, Robert Timms has the advantage of having better lighting at the 2021 Texas Pro but it is what it is you can't do much about that I wish the IFB would have one standard lighting rig for all their shows but not much that I can do about that so let's get to the mandatories now, in the front double biceps, we can notice immediately that Robert Timms has better arms, especially the biceps. They are much better, in my opinion. Now, when it comes to the overall structure, I feel like Robert Timms also has a much better structure. His waist is uh, better overall. He shows more detail there, and also he has a better V taper. I sort of feel like Wesley Wizard has that weird U taper where it looks like he has sort of a U upstairs and then it sort of leads down to sort of like a straight line down to his waist and legs. So there's that, guys. Wesley Wizard also sort of has that weird Nathan Diasha like structure where he has a longer waistline and um, it's just doesn't look uh, good in my opinion at least not in classic physique and his vacuum isn't helping a lot because he sort of has that uh, weird structure when it comes to his uh, rib cage so I don't know if it's helping him to hit a vacuum now uh, downstairs I feel like Wesley might have a slight edge at least when it comes to the size of his quads but uh, again, Robert Timms is uh, just as separated, if not um, showing more separation in that region. So I don't know, guys. Another thing is that uh, Robert Timms is hitting this pose a lot better. I feel like if Wesley hit the pose the way Robert Timms hit the pose, then it might have been closer. But uh, as it stands now, guys, I feel like uh, Timms usually takes his pose. Now, uh, moving on to the side chest shot. Here, in my opinion, it is much closer. I feel like they sort of compare fairly well here. I feel that, at least downstairs, uh, Wesley Visors has a bigger hamstring, at least in this uh, comparison here. Um, and also, he shows surprisingly more detail in his uh, glutes. Now, I don't know if Tim's might just not be flexing them, but... Uh, it is what it is, guys, but uh, upstairs they are also fairly evenly matched, so from the side I don't feel like any, either of them gets a huge advantage. Um, Robert Timms might have slightly better arms, but um, again, other than that, I mean, you can also note that Wesley has better calves, even though it seems like in today's uh, IFBB that doesn't matter at all, but... Uh, I just figured, why not mention that? But uh, either way, I feel like this pose is fairly close and you can't really pronounce a clear winner here. So let's move on to the next pose. Now in the back double biceps, I feel like Robert Timms takes this pose as well. And um, I don't know if you guys have noticed that or if you guys agree, but I feel like uh, Robert Timms' back is sort of a bit weird uh, if you notice in his lower back he has those wrinkles and also in the uh, middle of his back it sort of looks a bit faded now I don't know if it's a genetic thing where he sort of has that thick skin uh, sort of like Akeem Williams has where his back just doesn't look as conditioned overall as the rest of his body because I feel like um, Definitely is the case. I feel like Robert Timms was in great condition at the 2021 Texas Pro, but his back didn't really match the rest of his body as far as conditioning. But uh, still, guys, he does more than enough to beat Wesley in this pose. He also has a smaller waist, which sort of helps his uh, V taper. And downstairs, I feel like Wesley's bigger, 
might also be that Wesley is spreading his legs more, um, sort of also showcasing his quads from the back, but still I feel like Robert Tim shows more detail there, and overall he's just better in this pose in uh, my opinion. Now moving on to the final mandatory pose, and this is just a blowout in uh, my opinion. Uh, Robert Tim just smokes him in this pose. Everything from uh, his uh, midsection to the way his uh, structure is to the way he hits the pose is just better. Um, the only thing that uh, Wesley Visters can claim an advantage in is the quads. Uh, they are slightly bigger, but then again, uh, Robert Tim's isn't giving up that much size, and also he has better or equal amounts of uh, muscle separation in that region. So I feel like even though you can give Wesley Visitors an edge downstairs, it's still overall Robert Timms is much better. And it's called the absent ties. And while Wesley might have decent ties, he just doesn't have good abs at all, uh, in uh, my opinion. So yeah, guys, overall, I feel like the winner of this comparison is Robert Timms. Now, maybe you guys feel like I was a bit too harsh on uh, Wesley, but I don't know, guys. I just don't like the way his uh, physique looks, and I don't feel like he will have much success in the classic physique division. Um, a lot of people say that he he reminds them of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, which... I sort of agree with, but uh, again, guys, this is classic physique, and the way that he looks is just a bit too blocky for how classic physique uh, is judged today, and I feel like Robert Timms has a perfect physique for the classic physique division, so my prediction for the 2021 Mr. Olympia classic physique division is that Robert Timms will definitely make the first callout, and I do not think that uh, Wesley Vissers will make the first callout, but... Yeah, guys, that's about it for this comparison. Leave a comment below with your uh, opinions on this matter. Do you think that I'm absolutely crazy thinking that Wesley Visitors won't make the first call out? Do you think that I was too harsh on Wesley Visitors in this video? I don't know. Leave a comment below. And if you want to request a comparison, feel free to do so also in the comment section below. And uh, that's it, guys. I'll see you later.